P is 0.2, Q is 0.8. Now the first case and here obviously n is equal to 10 out of 10 it is. So n is 10. Then what is the probability that 5 lines are busy? Okay. So to get that probability first of all we will write the distribution P of x equal to x is the distribution that is is given by n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x which is equal to n is 10 10 c x p raised to x means 0.2 raised to x and q raised to x 0.8 raised to 10 minus x where n is equal to 0 to 10 okay. then so here firstly we need to find probability that 5 lines are always busy means x equal to 5. So here it is what to do is 10 c 5. x is 5. 0 0.2 raised to 5 into 0 0.8 raised to 10 minus 5. So 10 minus 5 means it is 5. So simplifying this you will get the answer for that. That is 10 c 5. 10 c 5 you know how to calculate 10 into 9, 8, 7, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 into 0 0.2 raised to 5. 0 0.2 raised to 5 you can find the value using your calculator or 2 by 10 raised to 5 and this is 8 by 10 raised to 5. You can use the calculator to find the value. So here now this is equal to simplify this. 5 to the 10, 3, 3 is a 9, 4 to the 8, so 13, 252, we will get 252 here and then 2 by 10 raised to 5 and 8 by 10 raised to 5 or just 0 0.2 raised to 5 and 0 0.8 raised to 5. Okay, calculating that you will get the answer. So, I am leaving it for you. Then, second is find the expected number of busy lines and also find the probability of this number. Means you need to find the expected number of busy lines. Means you have to find the average number of busy lines. So, expected number of busy lines is given by... Expected number of busy lines means expectation of x we need to find which is equal to n into p. So n is 10, p is 0.2. So that is 2. Okay, so 2 will be always busy there. And third, we need to get probability that all lines are busy. So probability that all lines are busy. is given by p of x equal to 10 means all the probability that all the 10 lines are busy this is given by 10 c 10 then 0 0.2 raised to x x means 10 and 0 0.8 raised to 10 minus 10 so this is 10 c 10 10 c 10 means 1 okay so that is 0.2 raised to 10 and 0.8 raised to 0. 8 raised to 0 is 1. So, here the answer will be 0.2 raised to 